Now, sometimes people enjoy desserts for the taste, while there can be an artistic element to the presentation. Our 18 News reporter sits down with local baker Luca Gill in a cookie decoration for the arts on the go. That's the funny onion. Mixing the icing is the first step, and getting the correct consistency is key uh, to get the icing to work correctly. And I've already done that, and we've got the icing all bagged and prepared for us. So today our first step is going to be outlining and flooding the first sections. So I'm going to cut this open just a little, very small amount, a very small hole. I'm gonna double check that I have what I want to be coming out of there, the right amount. And then I am just eyeballing where I want the center segment of this pumpkin to be. And very carefully holding the icing bag about a quarter of an inch above the cookie, I am going to do this little shape. And now that I've got that section outlined, I can go ahead and finish up the rest. I have actually have this really cool tool where I can just scrape it off. Sometimes it's easier if it's a little bit dry, let it dry a little bit, and then I can just scrape it off. And there are some other problem solving there. You can use something sharp to just kind of manipulate it a little bit. So the next step will be to flood, which is the word for filling in um, a cookie or a section of a cookie. I'm going to flood it in sections so that there's a nice little puff in between each section. If you take some of the thicker consistency icing and do a scribble down the center, that'll just help you have a really nice puff without uh, the icing caving in. So the flood will go right up against the outline first, do the perimeter. and then fill in the rest. And to get this to all lie nice and smooth, you can either with your hands or a tool, just give it a little shimmy to smooth out. And now it's nice and flat. So then I can fill in these alternating sections um, and then give them a chance to dry a little bit. Once the sections are filled in, the cookie gets placed in a dehydrator machine for 10 minutes to dry the icing for the next layer. While we waited, it was my chance to decorate. It looked like I needed a few tries to get it right. And then you can take one of these tools and um, just wiggle it around to get it to smooth out. And then the next steps would be to um, fill in more sections. Once I was done, out came the other cookie to be completed for filling. I am going to finish filling in uh, these segments in between the ones that are already dried. So again, I will start with the um, squiggle of the thicker icing up the center and then go right ahead and use the flood consistency icing to fill it in, um, butting right up to the edges of the other segments and right up over the outline. I'm going to add this stem to our pumpkin. I've massaged the bag to reincorporate the colors back together and I will snip a little tiny piece off of the tip and give it a test to make sure it's the size I want it to be. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to very carefully do an outline of where I want the stem to go. And fill again, I'm going to do a little squiggle again and then fill the whole thing in. and give it all a little swirl to even and flatten it all out.
and there's a cute little fall pumpkin. In Elmira, with Arts on the Go, Stefan Ayanian, 18 News.